Hello, my gorgeous people. These are all my thoughts and opinions based on information out in the public domain. Please do your own research, and this is for entertainment purposes only. You know, I heard that Meghan Markle was planning to invite the press to Lilibet's for, uh, first birthday at Frog Frogmore Cottage. Again, everything to be taken with a grain of salt, clearly. Uh, I still, to this point, don't understand why she would bring the children, if they exist, to the UK, back into the fold of what she determined to be one of the cruelest, most racist family in the world that had abused, abused her and to the point that she had to flee the continent. It wasn't even just the country. She had, she had to flee the continent and go back to the safety of the California, of a California mansion, pretending to go to Canada first, of course. All the seats, all lies, clearly. Now, I think Lilibet's birthday, if it ever occurs, or the, I don't even like to call it that, the, the, that little girl's birthday, it's a good time for us to demand that the testimony of the doctors certifying that they delivered the child from Meghan Markle's body be presented in the public eye. I think it's time to put the foot down because they seem to be getting all the perks without any of the necessary paperwork required for them to get them. Um, it is a shame that, and, and you know, shame on them that this little girl, if she exists, is being put through this by her own mother because that mother can't be bothered uh, or, or you know their mother is exploiting her own kid just I don't know I guess she lying or whatever but you know and again this is not don't send me uh, I will delete the emails I get emails saying people oh you know what's wrong with her using a surrogate there's absolutely nothing for her nothing wrong if she can't have babies if there's something wrong with her and she needs to use a surrogate fine but she has to be honest about it and say so because had she been honest and said that then parliament probably could have made an exception to include the children in the line of succession succession legally the problem that I have is that everything is through deception, secrecy, um, uh, fraud. You know, it's 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 just unseemly, and it shouldn't be happening because there were protocols. There there are protocols in place for this. Now, why is Harry coming back to the UK? or saying that the UK is his home when he just went in an interview and said that the US is now his home. That removes domicile from the UK because in order for somebody to lose domicile, they have to state in public that they no longer live there, which he has done, that he considers the place where he's currently residing his home, which he has done that. He has to show that he has significant ties to the place that he's residing in and say, you know what, and he, he does, because his current wife is there. A child of his was born there, and the other one has spent most of his life there now. So, basically, he has no ties to the UK, and he has denounced the UK as a very um, dangerous place for his children. Uh, is it tax evasion? I mean, we have the Invictus Games. We have, I mean, everybody's taking everything away, except dealing the final blow now I keep hearing people saying that they made this 100 million dollars or 150 million dollar Netflix deal which they never did they never got paid that money and they're hurting for money they're hurting for money but I think what hurts Megan the most is that in spite of her worst efforts she didn't become an A-lister she became a royal not even a royal, she became a Zillister. She became more of a joke. Because it's you know, it's like it's like somebody who won the lottery, who won four hundred millions and basically threw it all away. You would think that winning that kind of lottery you would be set for life. She had access to a huge platform and what did she do with it? She threw it away, she slandered it, she tried to smear that platform and the people who worked really hard for it, the royal family, the monarchy, the United Kingdom. Um 
My heart goes out to little bit, oh, to that girl, if she ever comes here. I apologize for the noise, guys. Um, because it's terrible that uh, children are exploited for financial gain from their own parents, needlessly. Because they could have bought a mansion, a one million, a one, two million dollar mansion in, the, in California, and they would have been fine. They would have been, you know, living, living la vida loca. You know, like Ricky Martin says, they could have been gracious about things. They could have not lied about anything. Um, but they did. Unfortunately, they did. And I think that what hurts, again, what hurts Meghan Markle the most is the fact that she really thought the doors for, of Hollywood were going to, just like Beyonce, oh, my black princess. First of all, Meghan Markle is not black. She's mixed race with white. She's a white skin, mixed race woman. Just like I am. I am mixed race. I'm white skin. You know? So, uh, you know, we have Meghan Markle going the route of Amber Heard. And, and it's so funny now that they said that their global PR agent, uh, agent for PR, quit. Global what? They're not even known in the United States. They're only kind of known in California. But other than that, hardly known anywhere else. Other than the UK and some major scandal by people who you know follow royalty, but is, if you put Meghan Markle anywhere, nobody knows who she is. What global thing? I mean, these people are, are completely insane. Meghan Markle thinks she's a global multi-star. She thinks it's Princess Diana. She's not. She wishes she were the dirt under Princess Diana's worst shoes. That's how. That's how terrible this woman is. She's really tacky. She's delusional. And, and I gotta tell you, it upsets me that Mr. Markle is not being honest about many things. Because this woman has hurt so many people. She has hurt institutions, human beings, her own children, all sides of her family and her husband's family. She has lied and committed perjury because that's what it is called. If you lie, you're a liar. If you don't tell the truth, you're a liar. That's what she did. She committed perjury. She didn't misremember. She committed perjury. And I'm for one. I think it's time to call her out and take advantage of the fact that if she comes to the UK to actually start a probe for perjury, for the perjury she committed during that trial in the UK against the, the, the Associated Press. This is a good opportunity to actually start and launch that probe just like they're about to do with Amber Heard, Amber Turd. I think that Jada Pinkett, Hillary Baldwin, Meghan Markle, and Amber Turd, there are what I call the Turd Quartet. They're, these women are pretty vile. They're absolutely horrible. But what do you guys think about a probe about Meghan Markle's perjury should be initiated when she comes into town? What do you think about that? I think it's an excellent idea. What about people get uh, get out and demand that she present the testimony, the, the test document from the doctors testifying that the baby was delivered? I think this is a great moment for her to to be investigated, and for people to call out for the bullying investigation as soon as she puts her feet in 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 in, in UK soil. Start a probe as to why she lied to the courts in the United Kingdom. A royal title does not give immunity. Please let me know what you think. As usual, thanks for your support. Thanks for sharing, liking. That's how this community grows. And leave me your comment because I'm very interesting. Don't you think that a perjury probe would be great? I think it would help her to learn to tell the truth if she were to face some consequences. And Mr. Markle, if you ever listen to my videos, which I, I doubt you do, be straightforward. Present the whole letter like your son did calling out Meghan Markle, calling because everything he wrote in that letter to Harry hit, you know, absolute truth. Everything was spot on the money. You know, and covering up for somebody who is that abusive, it's only an encouragement for her to continue to do so. If he wants to, maybe it's too late in life for him to correct her, but the best way to try to amend her ways is to expose her completely and maybe make her face looking at her own ugly mirror but these are all my thoughts and opinions please let me know what you think thank you guys